everyone i'm hilary chin thank you all so much for coming and watching my youtube channel please uh, go up above my head here and click that video that is a video we did still concerning tableau where we looked at the calculation calculated fields and also look at some visualizations basically okay but in this video is a continuation of that video where i want to show you step by step how to do visuals in uh, the, the the tableau sheet Remove those visuals from Tableau sheet and then combine it into the Tableau dashboard. And then from that Tableau dashboard, we see how it reacts to the Tableau story. Okay, so you have the sheet, you have the dashboard, and you have the story. So these are three elements that are very important to note each time you work with Tableau. And those of you who want to become data scientists, data analysts, these are very, very important tools to start using. Okay, let's get in there. Let me show you what I mean. So um, before we do our um, sheet, um, dashboard, and story um, using visuals in um, Tableau, I just want us to look at the data here. We have product name, we have quantity, we have cost, we have sales, okay? And we are going to be looking at the total cost and total sales when we put this in our Tableau, which is, just, which is going to be quantity times cost, quantity times sales, and then we look at the profit, okay? Um, those of you who have not watched our other video this will help you to see how we do calculated fields also here so i'll just come here very quick and i go to this small icon here and i go to connect to data here and i go to excel these are other other options that you can use to bring data in okay but today we want to use excel and i'll just click when i click open um, we'll give you some time to get into our tableau so right here is inside our tableau um, i'll just hover around with my mouse here a little bit and it turns to this double um swat double head swat and then um since we are going to be doing visuals i will not spend a lot of time to say anything here i did that already in the other video i'll just come here real quick i'll come here um sorry i'll come here first to this quantity and then i go to create calculation calculated fields and then i'll say total total cost okay i'll just say total cost and then once i do that I'll say total quantity is supposed to be times, supposed to be times, um, open my bracket, and then I start writing cost, okay? And then that's it there. And then it says the calculation is valid. And then I click OK. No, I click Apply. And then I click OK. All right, so we have total cost here. So we'll still come here to this, and we'll go to calc create calculated fields, and we'll see total sales total sales okay and here now we come and we say that times quantity times sales okay we open our bracket and once we start writing sales it gives us the option here and then it says valid okay the calculation is valid we apply that and then we click okay all right and then here again we want to find the profit we'll just go here uh, immediately and say total sales minus total cost okay so on a calculation field calculated field just a profit um, which is yeah, just let's just put total profit sorry total profit okay and then here our total profit of course is just total this is minus total cost with now bracket once we start writing cost you see that our total cost appears here and then we just choose that and then it says the calculation is valid and then we click apply and we say okay okay and right now we are already done we'll just go quick you see these three um, buttons here today we want to look at the different visualizations and we just do something real quick and then we show you from dashboard from the sheets from from the sheets to the dashboard from the dashboard and then to storyline okay and you'll be seeing the difference as we navigate around so i'll just come to the sheet real quick and when i come to the sheet you see that everything that we created appears here you have total cost you have total profit and then you have total sales okay so we want to be looking at the product name against the total cost the product name against the total sales and the product name against the total profit so just take this product name here but before we go there i want you to see that here the columns so when we bring this our total name here and we put it on the columns option here you see that all the product name appears in a column format here you see now and then when we start we want to start with total um cost okay and we bring this total cost under this row here you see that it already brings our visual on are you seeing now and right here, I can come to this small um, T that you see here, and I click, it brings the data labels on. It tells you how much exactly is it that is creating this visual here. And then you find down here, you find all the names of the products right here. 
and then also here i can just come here and I right click under this small stuff here and i say that um height fill levels columns and i hide that okay and then also i can come here and i toggle around here you see that it changes the position of my visual um it, it changes it to different position depending on what you want to do okay and then right here also i can double click here once i double click it opens this space here i want to give the product the name of this since we are dealing with cost i'll just say product by cost okay i'll just put product by cost product you can give any name okay sorry <laughs> i'm spelling product differently okay all right product by cost so right here i can select this and i try to adjust this you see i can change the locations as i want i can put it in bold i can change the font size from here make it 20 and make it bigger like this and so on and so forth and right here i can apply it okay and once i apply i say okay and we have my product cost here are you see now and then once we are done with this we go to the next sheet and we click the next sheet now this first sheet if we double click there and then we move that out and we just put cost okay this will help us make our work clean and easier for someone to read and understand what's going on now again uh, if i toggle around here again there's something i want to show you before i move forward if i click here you see that it says keep only if i want to keep just this aspect of this visual all i'll do is why i've clicked here i'll just come here and choose keep this only you see the other ones disappear are you seeing now i can still come here click this arrow and i go back to where i was and then right here i can still click again on this and then i say exclude if i want to remove only this and leave all these other visuals what i'll do is once i click there once i come and click there it says exclude and then i click exclude you see that it is out and every other visual is available here this is good practice for you to learn and understand many times you might want to just see what is happening with a specific product name so as we move further also you see that on this visual here i can decide to remove it from this role or still come to total cost here and i bring it in the color option here you see that it now shows me the level of profit now based on colors it says the thicker the color the higher the profit you see here now or the higher the cost sorry are you seeing here now so this is another way you can analyze by also bringing the same total cost that you have up here in the color option if i come here and i take this total cost again and i bring it in the size option here you see that it shows me that the bigger the size the higher the cost are you seeing now or the bigger the size the higher the profit so this is a good practice okay and i just want to show you all this so you understand how this works okay i can still come up here and i try to take it from high to low and i still change my position the position of my visual you see i can click here and you see that it turns to this other location i can remove all these back and then just allow my data to just show me all this okay you see that i'm changing from up here you see what i'm doing from up here okay so this is important depending on how you want your data to um stay i can still click here and i right click okay and it says uh, um, um, edit axis but something i want to show you here also i can still click here and I right click and then um i can still click here right click and then okay sorry i can still click here you see and it gives me this option here now once i click that option you see that it opens up and shows me specifically what is happening with total cost and product name each and every item is being displayed here okay so this is how you can really understand your data i can go to full data and it shows me everything okay it shows me the cost the quantity the total cost okay i can go to summary and then it shows me just what is on this visual okay i just wanted to show you this but of course um before um i go or before we go to our dashboards just allow me to do the other visuals and then anyway let's just do it so i show you other visuals other options so if i come to this sheet now and i double click and i write sales i just put sales there it means that we are going to be dealing with sales right now and i come and i take my put still take my product name put it on that column here we are now on a different sheet and I, now i come to total sales here and i put it there remember total sales can still go the same with um, putting it in the color in the size and all that we have already done that with our cost okay so in, in order not to take up much of our time we can come now and choose a different visual here now i've chosen a different visual now this is a pie chart and here i can just come in and put my my data labels on you see it's a pie chart okay 
and this is a good practice as well so we are dealing with different charts so I can also double click here and I see that product sales okay please you can put names that suits you okay product sales and also I can just highlight make it bold here I want to draw a line so you see also see that option I also put it on on 20 and then I'd like to bring it in the middle here and then I click apply and then I click OK you can click OK and apply whichever we want to click it will say go proper okay and then I come now to the last year remember this is where I'm adding my sheets okay this is where I'm adding my sheet so if I click here again it brings me to the third sheet I still want to look at the names okay against the total profit right now okay this is very very key for us we want to see if we're making profit so you already see that um, this is already showing that uh, there are less profit here minus 30,000 so you see that uh, this flesh of this column chart is going right down not going up and then right here now we can do other things I can click here and I right click and I just um, hide this field I can double click here and then I say product profit okay and I just say product profit I'm doing this many times so you can master it okay I wanted to just go do it and just bring and summarize but that will not help you those of you who are watching this for the first time so right here I bring it in the middle and then that is it okay of course we have to take it to 20 as well to make our work clean and consistent okay right here perfect so I can just go now and I click OK and then it goes on right here okay see something that I want to see which I want you to show you. I want to show you here right now I want to show you something very 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 important okay but before I do that let's just go up here and put our data labels on perfect right now see what I want to do I have moved now from this sheet okay let me save this one as profit also so now there are three options here you have the sheet option you have the dashboard option, and you have the report the story option so we come now to the dashboard so once I click on this dashboard what happens is that you see that all the three visuals that I've designed using the sheet already appears here. Are you seeing now? So this is the space for the dashboard. So when I come to cost, remember I, I, I save this one as cost, I save this as sales, and I save this as profit. So if I come to my profit and I double click, you see that it automatically appears on my dashboard here. If I come to sales and I also double click, it automatically appears. You see, product profit, product sales. If I also come to cost and I double click, you see that it already appears here okay but there's something I'm getting here that I need to adjust right so you see that while I'm here see what I can do I can just click here and then I open this up to adjust this feature you see that I'm adjusting right here and if I go to product product cost and I change something you see that it affects the change if I come here and I change like this and then I come back to my dashboard you see that it has changed you see now so now you can go back to um, product profit also here and you change the the whole operation and you come back to the dashboard and you see that you see it's appearing now in more visual so you have to keep doing this until you get to a point where you are now satisfied with how your visual looks because what you are doing as a data scientist or as a data analyst is to make sure that the visuals that you are showing to people it's easy to read it's easy to understand if I show someone this data who is not an analyst the person should be able to know that okay product cost this is what we have here from laptop this is what we have from phones etc etc okay and here it runs from the highest right up to the lowest and here you can also see so many other um, insights but now let's move immediately to our story so when I get to a story now it opens up another space for story now what has happened is that we have been summarizing the story um, um, option summarizes all the sheets and the dashboard it means if I come to story and I double click you see that it brings all of my dashboard here are you seeing now and it's even clearer here it's even more open here are you seeing now so if I want to show this to management I can just double click my dashboard they can tell me hey show, show us the dashboard how, how it looks and then at this story um, option I can just show it here okay and you must know that once you buy Tableau you can work with it online in cloud base and managers and many people can be observing your visual just by accessing it through that space okay but right now this is a free version we can only get this um, like this and um, I love Power BI because with Power BI you can convert it to PDF but I'm still looking forward to do that using Tableau but here again if I come here and I double click you see that if I double click here again if I double click 
okay I want to remove this um, sorry if I double click on profit if I just double click on profit here you see that it brings only profit to me so here I can come here and look at just my profit and see what's happening with my profit using the 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 the, the, the story the story um, option I can still come again and I double click on sales so it brings me only the sales so I can be able to see what is happening with sales are you see now I can still copy and I double click and it brings me just my cost okay so these are the three steps and three areas where you can really manipulate and play with your visuals there's a whole lot to learn using power um, tableau and I look forward to uh, teaching you step by step to know more 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 about tableau I don't want this video to be long thank you all so much and stay blessed Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Please remember to go down below there. We have our WhatsApp group you can join. We also have other videos that we have made is down there. Um, we have different tools that we teach. Um, if you're watching me anywhere from the world, please take this seriously and also share New Semotech to some of your friends, colleagues, etc. So we can start learning and building together, okay? Especially when it comes to technology.